Wild and Fresh Squad talking about coach fragrances today and reasons I think you should consider before you actually purchase a coach fragrance. Okay, now first up, I've smelled basically all of coach fragrances. Some of them, I don't really remember how they smelled initially because I was just not that impressed. And these are fragrances that I've taken decants of, smelled them, decided it's not for me, and I just discard them after. They're cheap fragrances, so it's not a bother to me if I purchase them or if I just get decants, purchase the decants, whichever way you want to do it, they are quite cheap. As I said, I'm not really impressed with the scents because all of Coach fragrances, they're not that unique. There is probably one or two of them that may be unique in the Coach line, but overall, they're not unique scents and it's not really something that you will be standing out anywhere with because they all smell like something else. Now, the only one I'll say that doesn't really smell like anything else is Coach New York. It's the only one I've actually purchased or spent any money on, and it was only for $40 when I got it, which was a deal at the time. It's really the best sold one, in my opinion. It's also the oldest one in the Coach line, and it's just a really unique scent with the pear notes in there that it has and a lot of other fruit notes that make it sweet, fresh, light, and very masculine. If you're thinking of getting any coach fragrances, I would say go and smell that one at any retailer and uh, see what you think about it. If you don't really like that one, you may like the others, but like I said, they aren't really unique scents. Now, next up on the list, if you're a fragrance head like myself, or you're starting out into the fragrance world, this is something that you should really consider, and that is projection and longevity. Now, none of the coach fragrances perform well, none of them, not even the one I purchased. They are just bad performing fragrances, and when I say bad performing, I'm talking about performing for only two to four hours, projecting and being a scent overall on your skin. Yes, they are that bad. However, they are very cheap fragrances, so, if you want to spend money on any of these, it would not be a problem. If you really do like the scent and you're new into the fragrance world, or you just want something for a dumb reach, maybe to go to the gym or to go to the grocery store. But like I said, it won't be anything too unique and it's very light, it's very airy, it won't project for long. So any quick runs that you have, these are something that you can grab for very easily. Lastly on the list is price. I've mentioned it before, but I thought I'd just expound on it a little bit more the prices usually go for somewhere around 25 to wait what do the prices go for oh. okay so prices go anywhere from 30 dollars all the way up to around 60 dollars and that just depends on where you get it if you get it at discounters you won't be paying more than 40 dollars for any of these fragrances if you go through the coach website by itself, um, if you don't trust discounters, then you'll be paying 60 to maybe $80. And now because these fragrances are so cheap, like I said, it's nothing that you'd be losing out on if you grab any of these. It's not really a line that I have purchased many fragrances from. As I've already shown you, I've only purchased one and the others just didn't do it for me. And a lot of people would agree with me on that point so it's all up to your preference at the end of the day now what are these great for these are just great for casual run type of fragrances maybe a date night um, that you're not really sure what she'll like and you just want something that you know will give you a nice smell to you uh, these are fragrances you can grab um, for those type of situations or if you're new into collecting fragrances then if you want to have the whole coach line, that's something up to you. You can grab it, but I think your money is best spent somewhere else. Now, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about coach fragrances. Have you smelt any? Have you purchased any? Was it a regret buy? Was it a blind buy? Let me know all of that down in the comments. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so that I can grow and tell you guys so much more about fragrances on my journey as well as yours. Big up.